applause greeted the announcement in Toronto, and no wonder. Parents and researchers have prayed for this literally for decades. By identifying the gene, researchers at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto say now they can work on ways to fight the illness rather than just treat its effects. So when the gene first came out, I think it appeared to the world pretty stunning, but to us it actually occurred somewhat slower. At that time, uh, the human genome was largely um, undiscovered or at least uncharacterized. So first attempts required um, looking carefully across all the chromosomes and asking the question, where was this trait, the trait of having cystic fibrosis carried along the chromosomes? Working in Toronto at SickKids with the team of Dr. Lachi Choi and also with labs Dr. Jack Reardon, our goal was to literally walk and move along the chromosome to try to find the DNA fragments and then ask the questions of these DNA fragments, which one corresponded to fragments of genes. These were the families that participated in our first look toward linkage and also then um, plotting along chromosome 7 looking for the CF gene. And this is a special picture to me because it includes um, the families um, that were a part of this study. I do remember one day where I was reasonably certain that we had the right gene. We also that day had genetic evidence that we had differences between CF patients and non-patients. And that was a day I particularly remember. It was a Friday in June, 1989. And that night I didn't sleep a wink because I was pretty sure it was the right gene. So my CF hope for the future is that we can have therapies for all people with CF, um, but also um, to keep moving and to keep moving faster because even though we make small steps, we need to make the big steps of being sure that um, people don't suffer uh, from any aspects of their CF disease.